happy 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 tuesday october the 25th halloween is just right around the corner elections are right around the corner and i'm going to be talking a lot of crap on the county i live in which is travis county which is in texas which is the has the city of austin which is the capital of texas travis county is a joke now Normally, I don't have scripts for my videos, and you know, I usually do them off the cuff. But I actually do have a script here, which is which is pretty amazing. Now, the script was provided by myself and by the Travis County District Attorney Office via Twitter. So, of course, I'm going to read this, and I'm going to tell you where the punchline is. Our staff wore purple in support of hashtag National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, the color dedicated by or dedicated to raising awareness and preventing intimate partner abuse. Our office takes acts of domestic violence seriously. That's why since January 2021, our office has secured a hundred a hundred 1,831 indictments and 913 convictions in the case of family violence. Last year, our office announced the Data and Research Partnership, Arizona State University, John Hopkins University, to prevent and assess risk homicide in cases of intimate partner violence. Our domestic Violence High Risk Team is aimed at designating responses to case with the highest lethal risk. We're grateful to our Special Victim Unit and Victim Counselors for supporting survivors of violence by treating them with dignity and respect throughout their experience with the criminal justice process. And I don't know if it goes on. Let's see here. Is there one more? I mean, I support that. I support victims being supported. I support them getting the help they need. But this is one big joke. One big joke. That's right. One big joke. There's been three quote retweets. By the way, this is Clint Rarely, Austin City Council District 1. The irony of this tweet is beyond comparison. When only three days ago, they gave a man probation, probation for beating his girlfriend and killing their child. Here's my quote tweet. This is a joke. These people don't care about the victims one bit. They care more about the freedoms of the monsters than they do about the protections of the victims. First story, no prison time for beating his girlfriend and killing her unborn child. No justice for the victim. Second story, 90 days in jail, then release. Both stories talk about deferred duplication, the type of probation that gives offenders a chance to keep a conviction of their criminal record, according to law firm Durham and Jones. Both of these monsters are getting off. They can have their criminal records purged, assuming that they don't commit any more crimes. They're on the street right now. They're on the street right now. Yeah, sure, they may be under a long-term probation of eight years, but they're on the street right now. This one, this person right here was spying on his ex. His ex got into a relationship or talking or flirting. He goes over there Beats her and sexually assaults her. 90 days in prison. Watching 90 days in county jail. How is this justice for victims? How are people in Travis County going to be safe from monsters? You're either for the victims or you're for the monsters. Your action speaks that you're for the monsters. This county is a joke and we are the punchline. That's it. That's my whole video. We're, we are the punchline. As someone responded, we are in the punch 
line to be punched. We're going to be assaulted by these monsters and if we defend ourselves with lethal weapons. We're going to be treated as the monster. We're going to be getting the full set of the law put upon us. We're going to have every gun violence law targeted us by defending ourselves against these monsters. I'm glad that the females in both these stories survived. Hopefully they could get some closure, but there is no justice for these females. These monsters roam free and awesome right now because we have a weak DA that doesn't want to do long-term prison sentence unless your skin tone is white. Oh, if your skin tone is white and you identify as white, you're, we're pretty sure you're going to spend a lot of time behind bars. But if you're Hispanic or black, you're going to serve no time or very little time, and you get to have your criminal record purged for good behavior. This county, this county is a joke, and we need to start voting like it matters. We need to start voting for representation. That is going to be tough on the criminals. We're going to need to vote for candidates. They're going to stick up for the victims. Give the victims some sense of security and some protections. As of right now, the victims, they, there's no justice for them. The monsters that beat them are still out there in the street. There's one that was sexually assaulted. And he gets to walk free. And if he does, if he behaves himself, he gets his criminal charge magically expunged from his record. This is a bunch of baloney. And you know it. We know it. The DA knows it. And it's one big stinking joke. Anyways, leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. Please smash the like and subscribe button on any all platforms. But most importantly, just the platform that you're currently watching. And second, most importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning or evening, and stay vigilant.